Mm. This is how I'm going to ask this damn question, because I feel like people might deviate from it if I ask it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout all the sexual um, experiences that you've had, who initiated it? The man or the woman? So, I think... I think like it's two way for me. It's mm -hmm. like two way, like because I'm aggressive. I'm assertive. I'm an assertive woman. I'm an aggressive woman. I think I intimidate people, right? So, <clears> I <throat> mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's two ways. Sometimes, sometimes they do. Sometimes I do. Because I'm, I'm really up about you know making sure that. I feel like it's a two-way street. I feel like when it's just one way, it's corny. Like, who just, like, yeah. waits? Like, why are you waiting? If, let's say, you feel it and there's, like, a kiss or there's, you know, like, a look. There's some things that just kind of draw you into a person. Mm -hmm. They could look at you a certain way. They could kind of, like, you know, you feel it. So mm -hmm. I think it's, a, for me, it's two ways. Sometimes they could say I did. Sometimes they could say they did. So I think that it's a two-way street for me, period. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to, like, not do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I want to do it, mm -hmm. you know? And likewise, they, you know, go for it. All right. Well, same. in my experience, it's been the men. I'm not against the two way, <laughs> but I would say I'm. I was used to just like you know the men yeah. first, but as I get older, I try to, you know, not really try, but it it comes off a You're little a girl, easier. Girl. You're girly, like right. a girl, girl. <laughs> yeah, and and the initiation is in different ways. You know, I like to dress up and. Be like, it's strawberry today, and the next mm. day it's banana, and tomorrow okay. it's pineapple. That's kind of initiating. And doing the, the whole sex color. Candles. It's, yeah. not, that, it's yeah. not that, oh, I want you to bend me over, or whatever. Yeah. It's, you know, it's You set the tone it's subtle. for the mood. It's, it's subtle. It's sweet. Okay. Mm. Like this sweet wine. Are you my brother? <laughs> yeah, for me, it's just me initiating it, man. Like... Really, and a girl, a girl has never... Well, she did. I You're mean... so sorry you just told us right. she's initiating it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah... But I feel like that's hollering at him though. Oh that's yeah. Different. I feel like right. men when it, when it comes to sex, I feel like women women want men to like lead the way. And in my experience like that's what I did. Like I'll lead it and get it it, it gets it gets on right there. But I just feel like certain women like they want to do it, but they be hesitant. Mm -hmm. And I just be like, "Yo, like why are you hesitant for? Like we here we want the one we want the same thing." Don't be afraid to show me what you're working with. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like women just be afraid to just start it first. And yeah. So. Yeah. For me, majority of the women that I've been with, I had to initiate it. Um, it gets annoying after a while. Yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. you want to also be loved yeah. on. Mm -hmm. You also want to that feel like annoying wanted. Mm -hmm. But it's some people that they just love doing certain things. So they're going to initiate it. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what, they're going to wake you up. They're going to put you to sleep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? They don't wake you up. They're going to wake homie up. That's how they oh, operate. Homie. Yeah. So some people. Little day. Yeah. So and it some all depends people, on the relationship too. If yeah, you're in so, a long term, you might initiate more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So some people like with my experience, I just like initiated the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. And for me, if I initiate, and this is the reason why I feel like some women should initi uh, uh, initiate it and it mm -hmm. should be back and forth is because like, you never know. Like there's certain people like when they get rejected one time, they don't try it again. Yes. That's the type of person I am. Ooh. So if I initiate it, let's mm -hmm. say, and I don't initiate unless I get teased into it. Mm -hmm. I always ask for consent before mm -hmm. anything. That's just how I am. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you. Are you was, sure? was um, progressive before you before this um Me Too move, this yeah, movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but like my brothers and every everybody I had around me just knew how to like talk to me and stuff. Like I lost my Virginia at a young age and all of that, but everybody that was around me was way older. Mm -hmm. So they taught me how to like operate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to take any chances at all. And I've seen people lose scholarships for certain things that they didn't even do. Mm -hmm. So I just knew not to fuck up. Mm -hmm. So like I said, for me, I wish, I wish certain people would initiate it so that it would have like, it would be balanced out instead of it being like feel forced and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. some women that don't want to have it and then you initiate it, they feel pressure to do it. Mm -hmm. So you never really know if she wanted they to do wanted. it mm -hmm. or you basically put yourself onto her to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't want to ever be put into that predicament where you're, you're in a limbo middle. now. Mm -hmm. And then now yeah. when you hear other people's story, you be like, damn. I think I might have 
did mm-hmm. something. Yeah, mm-hmm. you feel me? So like, that's the worst thing that you ever want to be in. So, so she doesn't come around exactly. again. Exactly. And yeah. there's a lot of stories that we hear about that where certain people come up and start saying, oh, I didn't, I didn't consent. I didn't mm. consent. Mm-hmm. Oh, I heard. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So for me, how I, how I see it is, a lot of the women that I've been with, they didn't initiate it. I did. But whenever I heard the word stop, that's stop. it. Mm-hmm. And if I got dubbed, that's the last time I'm ever I'm fucking something, initiating yeah. that shit. Yeah. So again. Yeah, I'm, that's, no, like, I, we could have a conversation. We could be friends probably. Yeah. But that's the Anything last time I would that ever no, yeah. try to do something sexual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they got this new thing that, I, that I've seen on social media where for a lot of women that are afraid to ask, it's a candle that says that they want to have sex. Oh, Lord. So all it's they have candle? to do, yes, there's a candle. People go make money out of anything. Yo, anything. The, cover, the cover of the candle says, I want to have sex. And then there's another one that says, I want to fuck or whatever. What? So that's, once she lights it, once she light it, when you come in, <laughs> once she light it, you come in the house, you already know what time it is. It's not like sex in the room. Mm. Feel me? You getting with the vibe. <laughs> you get the vibe. Lit. I feel like, hey, it makes it easier for a lot of women to like, you know, like express themselves without verbally saying it. So I feel like that Can is a good one. Yeah, like, just yo, text baby, it, I'm yo, trying to get in the laundry. Or you, or you, they come on yeah. and see you all sexy. Yeah. So why do y'all think women have an issue with initiating sex, though? I think that's learned behavior from your families and your upbringing. Honestly, mm. I feel like it's upbringing. Mm. I think that it's society. You, it's society upbringing. Because as being perceived as an aggressive woman, an assertive woman is not, sometimes frowned upon because, you know, men want women mm. that are d- demure, that are, you know, like men specifically like women that want to feel like they have like a savior. So I think that's why, like, it's like, oh, the attitude. Yeah. Mm. Also, you seem innocent. You have not been touched. Oh. Really? I- that kind of, you know, and literally it's not, it's not because women could be, they could be as innocent as ever and they got their bodies is past anybody's bodies. So mm-hmm. literally, I think it's your upbringing mm-hmm. and family and society, like she said, because literally mm-hmm. it's, it's how you're brought up. It's like, oh, you really shouldn't do anything. You should be a good girl. You should wait till you get married. You mm-hmm. should wait till this and that. All of these like things that you hear make you like, like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm not going to shit. I'm just going to sit here like a, like a daffodil and just wait for someone to come pluck me. Like, no, it's not mm-hmm. happening. You know? So I think well, that's it. I hear you. Mm-hmm. I hear you? Hmm. Yeah. I don't believe it. But I think that's why they I don't initiate. Wait, because for me, how uh-huh. I see it's like this, right? The things that you said that men want, that's not what we want. I feel like a lot of men like that. <laughs> that's not what I, we want. Like somebody literally did. I was dating somebody and they told me, I said, why? So they cheated on me. I said, why did you cheat on me? Because I needed somebody who wanted to be, who, who wanted to be needed. Because you, you seem like you're so self-sufficient and you didn't need me. I'm like, what kind of shit is okay. that? No, that happens. See, now that situation, that's a whole different yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens, though. You're speaking but, your experience. That happens. Now, you took you took your experience and you made it into a generalization. No, I'm not generalizing, but I'm saying for my friends and for people yeah. I've seen, the reason why they don't initiate is because they want to be perceived as these, like, you know, good women, women that you're going to marry. Because people want, like, literally about 70% of women want to get married, <laughs> want to have kids, want to be in that, like, you know, what it is perceived of, what is the two-family house with, a, with two kids and half a dog or something like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So, what Me. do you guys think? I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I agree with some of it. Mm-hmm. But when I say society, mm. it goes back to the men. When you feel like a woman is too easy, mm-hmm. you all voice that out there. She's a mm-hmm. B. She's mm-hmm. for the streets. A H. She's a this, she's a that, mm. you know? And it. You know, it comes back Mm -hmm. deeper, and then now it's reflected on you guys in what you're complaining about. And then other Mm. women hear it, and then women hear it. Like, it's all, like, we're telephone. The world is so, the world is big, but the world is really small. Small. It's like, oh, he's fine, you know? Damn. You know, they they say it outside, but now inside, the guys come out and say, you know, this girl was fast, she's quick, you know? Mm. She wanted I to think, eat me. I think I think I think that is based on the person like the specific person's character and mm-hmm. the environment mm-hmm. that yeah. has something to do with that. Because and how many guys are in that character though? Like there's some of you guys that are not like that, but there are guys that Most. are specifically 
like that. That yo, we ran many. through her. We gonna ran through her. You could all. It's yeah. for the streets. You could mm-hmm. all run through her and stuff like that. There's okay. mad niggas that do that. Now, mm. And it's in, in that the situation, songs, right? It's in the a lot of a lot of those searching. situations, yeah. right? People seem to always get that specific guy because that's the same guy that they go for, mm. and not the other people that are actually good for them. Like, you know certain people, they have a negative character or something about them that you know you shouldn't be around. Mm. But because you are intrigued by them or their mind sometimes or their behavior, you still go for it. So, like, there's a lot of women that would know that certain guys are just not good for them. But they would still go there and be hard-headed and want to get knocked the hell out before they can really figure out what the fuck is going on. And it's like, people can tell them, but they're not going to listen. There's a lot of good guys out here that are single. And statistically, fifty four percent of men are actually single Where they at? Ch- and childless. <laughs> no, this is no, this is a no, fact. Statistically, fifty four percent of men are yeah, fifty four percent. Fifty four percent of men are childless so, and so, single. So you know, a lot of men are in jail. Don't, don't count them. Yo. There's men that are incarcerated. Honestly, of course, there's you know a lot of guys are afraid queer, to talk to women. You know, women. like mm. you know, there's so many. Yo. So. Maybe twenty percent. No, a lot. Look, let's break this a list lot of, down. Look, a lot of men are afraid to talk to women. A lot of men are afraid to approach women. Mm. A lot of men have tried to approach women and they got shut down. Okay. And because when they get shut down, just like how I said I am, once I hear that no, I'm never initiating again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of guys that are like that. I still, I still do that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And it's, they, 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 in the street, they say you a ladies man. What are you talking about? In the street, what street are you talking about? <laughs> the Yo, streets is talking. I don't <laughs> think. Look, I don't think no the girl streets. can ever come and claim me right now. And if they do, if they can prove it, <laughs> I get them a thousand dollars today. Because it's not. It's come not, in the uh, comments. In the comments, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Let's make sure we we really out there right now. Go ahead and do it. Y'all gonna see my sister Amy on your ass. <laughs> yeah. <Uh-oh. laughs> but yeah, I'm like, like I said, I, how do I say it? We don't see uh, it being initiated. And when we do, it's like, it feels more meaningful when it is being initiated. Mm. Like, it feels like, okay, now nah, she really want me. Yeah. It don't feel like it's being forced. It don't mm. feel like I'm being pressured yeah. to yeah. do this. If it, it just feels natural. Yeah. You get what I'm yeah. saying? And even if we look back in the days when we when we saying, like, right now, with some of what I heard from the both of you yeah. saying that when it does happen right away or whatsoever, or when a woman initiated, that some men look at them in a negative light. Back in the days, when you look at all of these romantic movies or even, like, the stories of our parents or before them, the women were flirting with the guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like the guy just went there all the time. Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing? Nah. <laughs> how you doing? The, the, our moms were <laughs> flirting with our, our right mom now. were flirting with our dads. They was not mm-hmm. like I'm. I'm not saying they weren't innocent. They were innocent, but mm-hmm. they knew that. Okay, you have to make sure that the like the guy feel like, like, like how do I say like, you need him, mm-hmm. in a sense. You feel me? Not for materialistic things, but just emotionally. Yeah. Mm. then he's going to beat it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But when you're not doing none of that and then you're just being mm-hmm. shut shut off, that's like dating another guy. Mm. That's what it feels like. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. usually we're the ones who shut off. We don't know what the fuck going on, really. Mm. We, try yeah. to read the, we try to read the room. But when you're not initiating nothing or not even try to engage, flirt a little bit, yeah. give me a look, lick your lips or something. Mm. Not lick your lips. Feel me? <laughs> Walk like yo, <laughs> not for real. Like lick, you know what I mean? Stare. Look at you. Walk, like like walk a specific <laughs> way. You get what I'm saying? Walk a specific way. Caress my shoulder a specific way, or touch my arm certain a certain way. I would know. Okay, this girl really like me. This is but if you're not like doing it. none of that, mm-hmm. how the hell am I gonna know? I just feel like okay. I feel like I'm getting a bro and sis vibe. Mm-hmm. And that's what it feels yeah. like a lot mm. of the time. Friend zone. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes thinking. it's not even friend zone, mm. but that's what it is. That's what it becomes because. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah. 